The year is 1969, and you, you are Neil Armstrong. The United States and the Soviet Union are in an arms race. See who can put the first man on the moon. And you have been appointed this task. You had the most state-of-the-art technology at your fingertips. Rockets launch you into outer space. Capsules land you onto the lunar surface. You open up the capsule door, you step out firmly onto the lunar surface, and you echo out those iconic words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What an historical achievement this truly was. But then imagine looking up, and on the lunar horizon, you see something that looks like structures. So you approach to investigate, and you realize this is a human colony. Not just a human colony, but it's an abandoned human colony. And this abandoned colony has been abandoned for over 500 years. What would you make of this? What would you think? Well, that same thought that you have now is what Christopher Columbus would have had if he would have landed here at Lonzo Meadows. We all know the saying, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue and supposedly discovered the Americas. However, this site, this Viking outpost was here 500 years before Columbus sailed to the Americas. And we know from the Viking sagas that they made multiple trips to Lonzo Meadows and other parts of Canada to harvest wood to bring back to their colonies in Greenland. And recent studies have suggested that these Viking settlers were here for nearly 100 years. And this place wasn't even discovered until the mid-1960s. About the same time you, Neil Armstrong, was headed to the moon. Lonzo Meadows sits on a perfect point to the entrance of the St. Lawrence River which leads to the Great Lakes and tributaries into the Great Rivers of the Americas. I wonder how far they got. How far did they go? There are so many myths and legends of Vikings in the Americas. And this Viking outpost, Lonzo Meadows, proves that some of those stories are true. We know that this outpost had an iron forge and a carpentry workshop, suggesting that there was ship repairing going on, or perhaps even boat building for further expeditions inland. There was also a partial loom found, suggesting that women were present here, possibly for clothing repair or making full clothes. So we know they were here, and we know they were here for a long time. The question is, how far did they go? When the Vikings were settling Iceland, Greenland, and Lonzo Meadows, this, this was London, England. So when you visit Lonzo Meadows tomorrow, picture yourself as a Viking, highly civilized people, 500 years, ahead of their time. And imagine just how far away from Western civilization they truly were. What an achievement Wanzo Meadows truly represents. Thank you for your time.